Yes, guys, your boy Fred, you know how we do. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, let's talk about India and Ovi. India, how she did my boy all wrong. She done him wrong. You get me? Well, apparently, that's what I'm hearing. For those who haven't heard yet, she done all mad, didn't it? She done all wavy. Like, she done the X thing with the O. You know, like the X and O? Like, that's what she done with O, innit? She can't be doing that with my guy. That's what the rumour is. In case you haven't heard the rumour, let me let you in on some of it, yeah? Apparently, she she jetted off to Portugal to go and party with her ex-boyfriend, um, Kieran Gibbs, who's a football player, used to play for Arsenal. I think he plays for West Brom now. But yeah, and uh, people, one of, well, so apparently an insider saw them kissing and she was saying to him, oh, if you'd made it official with me, then... Me and Ovi wouldn't be together on all this bullshit, and then they were seen kissing. If you, that's what apparently came out. When I first heard this story, I couldn't believe it. Then my next thought was like, oh well, she belongs to the streets. <laughs> One man's trash is another man's treasure, innit? Yeah? If she wants to do that, then guess what? There's plenty of girls out here waiting on Ovi to take him, just to scoop him like a piece of ice cream. You know them ones there? But guess what? What do you lot think? Do you lot think she actually cheated? When I first heard the story, I thought maybe there was some truth to it. I don't know why, because I just saw, I just saw the article. But then upon reflection, when you look back at it, this whole story came from a, from a gossip page on Instagram. And at the time when I first saw it, like, I was like, raw. So I went on to like other, other places to go and look for it. But I couldn't find it at the time. Now when you go and look for it, you'll find it everywhere. But their sources is UK Gossip TV. Like, there's no credible sources. There's no evidence. There's no people saying anything. Like, this is just... It's a gossip page. So you can't believe anything they're saying. But I know big girls was happy when they heard this news. I know enough girls are just creaming their panties and their things there. Probably when them bought some new outfits and lingerie and them things there. New toys and them things there. Got all their Brazilian wax. Figured they got a chance at OV. <coughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But it, it's not true. There is no credibility to this story. Do you feel my drift? Can you see where I'm coming from? There's a few things I don't believe about this story. I'm not going to lie. There's a few things that I just can't get my head around. Is he an ex, Kieran Gibbs? Is he India's ex? And if he is, how could Ovi allow her to go to her ex's party in another country? What? I don't get that. I don't get that. And I do understand, yeah, like some people, not everyone has ha had toxic relationships and they don't talk to their ex ex exes no more. I understand that. Like some people do still get on, families still talk to each other and all that. I fully, fully understand that. But I would think like at the beginning of a relationship, a relationship that's very, very public as well. Like, you know how speculations and rumors can gather and stuff. I would think like, I don't know. Is it just me? Am I just going crazy? Another thing that's a bit mad to me is how another thing that's a bit another thing that's a bit mad to me is how she's come out to deny all of this, and Ov Ov's people, his publicists, no one said nothing. Nobody from Ov's side has said nothing to like squash the rumors or nothing. It's just her coming out to 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 condemn them. So I don't know. I don't fully believe she was out there just kissing this guy's face off. But maybe there's some truth to the story. I don't know. What do you not think? Do you think India's cheated? Like, because I'll tell you what. I'm not having my girl, my girl, go to her ex's party. And, like, and not that I'm insecure. She's not going there. Like, if I find out she goes there, like, I'm putting her in a headlock. And we're going to have a discussion while she's under my armpit. Depending on how she answers the question, depends on how tight the, the headlock will be. You know them ones there. So that's just me. I don't know about you lot, but I feel like these relationships are not set up to last. They're really not set up to last. When you got the whole public pressure on you, making a relationship out of it, like most of us can just go out, have casual relationships. If it don't work out, dump it. But the fact that everyone is watching you because you just come off a TV program, it's quite, it must be quite hard for them. Do you know what I'm saying? And uh, for all you thirsty females out there that want OV for yourself, yeah, I hope this rumor is true. Just for you. I'm doing this for you. You know what I'm saying? But for OV, 
I hope it's not true because I don't want to see my man get hurt like that. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I hope it's not true. I hope everything's good. It's kind of mad how it's happened though. Just the other day, Amber's relationship broke up. And then like today, there's all these rumours that Obi's relationship could break up. So when you look at it, it's like they're meant to be together. But they don't want to be together. They don't want to be together. So what are we to do? But yeah, that's all I got for you today. It's your boy, Fred. You know what we do? <laughs> Yeah.